Hi everyone, I'm Chris, and this is the Dreamy L10 Pro. It's the latest robot vacuum cleaner from them. Similar to the D9 that I have reviewed in terms of its design and looks, it has the 360 degree laser mapping at the top of it, but the front sensor array and things have changed a little here. So what it has now is this 3D high precision mapping, which does improve the collision avoidance. This one has a runtime of up to two and a half hours, and a new maximum suction power of 4,000 PA, making it the most powerful robot vacuum that I've reviewed here in the channel. Now the mopping function, just like the D9, it has this tank, which is pretty much exactly the same. This has a water capacity of 270 milliliters, and the dustbin inside, that one is 570 milliliters. And taking a look at what we get in the box. So we've got a user manual right here, just under that is a quick start guide. Right here we have the water tank and the mop. So it's a microfiber cloth. Now this water tank, the capacity of it is 270 milliliters and it's very easy to remove this. It's got Velcro that's holding it into place. You can just lift that off and you can wash that. Now the pump and the jets are along here and the little pump is located just there inside the water tank. And obviously our vacuum in a plastic bag there. So here we have the charger base and cable, so this is the base here that it needs to dock into. In order to charge the battery, quickly show you that. So there are the contact points on the bottom of it. So that's where it connects up and charges, uh, which does take around about four hours to charge this one. The runtime is 150 minutes of this particular robot vacuum. And here is the power cable and the side brush, which is also in the box. So very similar to the last Dreamy I reviewed, this is the 360 degree laser navigation distance mapping that it has. So we have a spot clean button, power on, return to home. That is of course to charge it. And lifting this up here, we do have the tool for cleaning out the main brush on the bottom. And this is our dustbin. So this dustbin has a capacity of 570 milliliters. And you see it has the removable filter right there. So just like the other Dreamy I've reviewed, pretty much identical, although this plastic is a little bit darker than that one. And there is just inside here another little layer, a little mesh there to stop some of those finer little bits of dirt and things getting stuck and trapped right in the white there. So it actually works out to be quite good. Earlier robot vacuums that I've reviewed in the channel, they did not have this here, and the filters tend to get chunked up quite easily. And this of course is washable. So main brush here on the bottom, there are four little anti-lint pads there that help collect up a little bit of lint off your carpets and things like that, which is good to see there. So this has the sweeper and then suck function. Now, 4000 PA is one of the best actually that I've reviewed here in the channel in terms of suction power. Now to gain access to that main brush, very easy, just lift that out and you can then clean that. And you have to do this periodically, of course, because they do require a little bit of maintenance, these ones. So the wheels here, nice rubber feet on them, so they can go up a lip of about uh, 20 millimeters, I think it is, and they are suspended, of course, 360 degree wheel here at the front, the two charging contact points, and then we have these six downward firing sensors here on the bottom to detect the edges, so it knows where, for example, stairs are, and it's not just gonna go riding straight off the stairs. So it's just lacking one thing, of course, and that is this side sweeper brush. So you simply just push that on, clips into place. No screws are required. Up the front here, we have the precision collision avoidance system that it does have. So that's a main sensor in here, and then it's also sensors there, and it does real-time mapping to try and avoid objects that could get in the way of it. And on the side, you can see there is a distance sensor right here too. So that's gonna be pinging like where your wall is, so it will know to go up nice and close when cleaning with the side brush. And the back here is where we have the exit vent. So all of the clean filtered air is going to be then blown out the back here. And I will let you know how loud this vacuum is later on in this review. And the mop, this one just clips onto the back like so. So you'll hear it click into place and it is ready. Now it has the mopping mode enabled. And looking now at the application. So this you can find under Xiaomi Home. You add it to your list of devices and this is fairly simple to do and straightforward. It needs to connect up to your router then 2.5G and then you have your connection 
to the robot vacuum. So this is the current map of my bottom floor here, and you can save and add additional maps under here. But what I did notice that when I went to add an additional map, that it should actually save it, it didn't for some reason. So maybe there's a firmware update needed to correct and fix that here. But it does work with the other Dreamy I do have, the multi-level maps. And you can have the two different levels, and you can use it on a third as well, but it should save the two, but for some reason I don't know why it didn't do that. So you've got your typical options here with the virtual wall and things. So it's a very complete app really and what you can do with this, you can schedule your different cleaning times. You've got your zoned areas. And I do like the way it breaks up the individual rooms and areas. Like this is the room downstairs and then it's created what is just downstairs part, the hallway and whatnot. Uh, which is great to see that it's able to do that of course. Now under settings, there are various different options here. So firmware update, I'm on the latest firmware update too. So you can see and change things. You can set the 3D high precision optical avoidance. I don't really know why you'd want to disable that. You can keep it on. It just makes sure that it's not going to get jammed up in places. And it just cleans a little faster and works a little better there too as well. So carpet boost, I keep this one on. So when it goes over the mats and the carpets, it senses this and increases that suction power. And it does make it a little bit louder because that's the 4000 PA. And that you can select here under the cleaning mode. So that's the different levels we have. That turbo setting being the 4000 PA. And I'll give you later on a sample of just how that sounds, the standard level. And then once it goes into the turbo, once it detects the carpet, you can change also to a lot of different things in here. So the mopping water flow setting, I keep it on medium. That seems to be okay. It doesn't leave too many streaks or anything like that. But it depends on your house and your tiles and your floors. You may have to increase that or decrease it, of course. And there's even a remote function too as well. So you can remote control it and just move it around how you want. I don't really know why you would need that, but I guess maybe it could be a little bit of fun for some kids to have a play with that, use it as a remote if you let them do that, that is. So that is just telling me that it's charged here, or it's charging complete, and here is the battery life indicator, and that's the area that it has cleaned and the cleaning time there, as you can see. And onto the important part is just how does it clean? So. The laser mapping I found works really well. It's very similar to the D9, but marginally faster, I believe because of those front sensors, it can see obstacles like chairs and other bits and pieces that are in the way and work its way around that. And that is why it is slightly faster than the D9. In terms of build and design, I mean, they are really identical. The D9 here just being white, the plastic, slightly different on the lid, but you'll see that there is that difference with the, the front facing sensors right there. That this has the larger sensor area, the two other forward firing ones, and this just has the bit in the middle, which is your typical kind of setup. So it still has the bump slam sensor that they call it, the side sensor as I showed you, and it's not gonna fall down stairs as long as you keep all of those sensors clean. You have to do your general maintenance on these once every month or so, and the application does let you know you get notifications from the app too. So the mop mode, we've got the mop right here. It does an okay job, but I wouldn't rate these models here as being super good at mopping. It doesn't do the Y pattern of mopping. It's just simply dragging along this microfiber cloth, pumping out the little bit of water to make sure it's moist. And you do see all the muck it picks up and it does a reasonably good job. But again, it's just like you getting a microfiber cloth, wiping it over your floor. And of course, when you plug it in, you've got the water in it you will hear it say that the mop is connected and it's not too difficult to plug in. The water compartment has been installed. Water compartment has been installed. Once you remove it as well, it goes out of the mop mode there too. So what it does is plan out the rooms when it's cleaning. So it goes all around the outside first and then it just zigzags across vacuuming the hard floors and tiles in my house. It has done a good job and it tends to pick up pretty much everything. Now they still can't get right in the very corner. So those 90 degree angles, it's not gonna be able to get in there, the vacuum perfectly. The brush does a good job of getting on the sides. Carpet performance, because it has that extra power, this one, the 4000 PA, which is almost double that of the D9. I do find it's doing a much better job and just lifting out a lot more bit of cat fur and other lint and things and tends to leave a little less behind. And sometimes it can leave a few little bits behind. I mean, they're not perfect, these vacuums. How loud is it, however? At the 4000 PA, when it goes over the carpets and it's on the maximum performance mode then, you do notice it. And here's a sample of the normal vacuum noise on the standard and then on the turbo, which is for carpets.
Okay, so all up, I think the carpet performance so far is the best that I have tested here in the channel. Now, sorry, I don't do those silly robot vacuum cleaner tests. I know a lot of other channels and a lot of other people do that. They put the steel balls down all over the carpet. They get a whole bowl of cornflakes and put it down everywhere and then massive clumps of hair and fur. To me, those tests are just stupid because whose house has steel balls lying around everywhere and just big bowls of cornflakes spilt everywhere? I know my house doesn't, so I keep it normal as is, a normal house, and I do a real world test and report those results to you. And I think this one, definitely the best at carpet so far. And the hard floors does an excellent job, no complaints. The only thing is the mopping performance is just not the best out there. So thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you in the next one.